Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Mooney here, and today I've got episode two of my Road to Gloria. And today I've started building the. Oh, in this episode, sorry, I've started building the spine of my squad. And you can see that I've already got Palop on a bid on him. And also going to buy Diego Costa as his striker for Atletico Madrid, and Palop is the goalkeeper for Sevilla. So, well, obviously, just before I start, I'm going to be giving tips for, for the starting of Ultimate Team. Obviously, you guys, maybe you follow me through my YouTube channel will know probably know the best way to start an ultimate team but guys you maybe start a FIFA 11 late and didn't get to grips with ultimate team or people who start on FIFA 12 brand new game and are new to my channel I'm going to be giving tips for them and you guys who know all that you can maybe just enjoy the series and see how my squad's being built because that's what I enjoy to do with the Road to Glory so the Spanish squad I will get I keep, I'm just going to keep it with the 4-2-2 formation for now because it seems to be working alright for me the goalkeeper the centre back the centre mid and this striker so obviously I've got this goalkeeper and the striker which I'll probably get first as well because striker just adds more clinical finishing up front but apart from your bronze player you aren't going to be the best at finishing but as you saw in the last video the finishing is quite good as well and also the goalkeeper just helps you keep a clean sheet so you're not conceding any stupid goals especially because your defence will be um, a bit weak because of the bronze plays then obviously you want to keep building your centre backs and centre mids I do buy centre back in this video but we'll get onto that when it comes to it so what you want to look for when obviously this game plays in the background he does have an all Korean squad and I think that's or South Korean I think that's South Korean or North Korean but whichever one it is they're going to be I think they're going to be a popular bronze and silver squad because there's a lot of them as you saw you get a lot of them in the bronze starts pack but guys Diego Costa he gets his um, first goal here but he does miss a couple of clinical chances in this game but it's what you get it's what you're sort of paying for you getting a cheap goal player he's not going to be the best up he's someone like Falcao who I'm going to be aiming to get obviously in the future but he does get a good finish here acting, acting on the game acting on the play and being very persistent but what you want to look for when you're buying a new player you want to look for how many contracts he has because this is important especially when starting ultimate team because contracts is, is what you'll get bogged down with if you're starting from the straight starts back and you haven't got any money making experience behind you because contracts are a lot cheaper than the FIFA 11 days because 500 um, coins for a gold contract was a lot especially at the start but here you go it, unfortunately it's, I think the connection went in there I don't, don't think it was a rage quit but the connection did go and also you want to be looking for the formation for example I've got a 4-4-2 formation so the best this is for chemistry as well so the best formation you want to be looking for is the 4-4-2 obviously but that's a popular formation just gonna cut in here I bought the centre back obviously he's in a 4-4-2 formation I got him because he's quite quick now in FIFA 12 at the start no one's going to be really good at tactical defending so you want to get quick centre backs that can keep up with the strikers and I think it's 79 pace something like that can't really see on this on the Sony Vegas screen but that's something you want to be looking for good pace in a, in a player and he was quite cheap as well because uh, you're not going to be able to buy the really rare players at the start but you'll see as we progress with this Road to Glory we will so you want to be looking at the formation I've got the 4-4-2 formation as you can see in this this little picture here, Diego Costa's formation thing the one on the left to his boost is bright green and the centre back and Palop is dark, a darker green that means they're okay with the formation but it's not their preferred formation so as you saw there well he must have been there uh, 4-4-2 I'm, I'm sorry about that but as you can see as well 4-2-2-2 was Palop's formation and also I know 4 one 2 and 2 is alright with 4-4-2 as well so that will give them a bit extra chemistry and obviously playing in the right position the boots will be green and as you saw in his, his squad there he, he was starting to build the span of the team which is correct to do and I, I think it's just a general tip I'd give for anyone starting ultimate team and even anyone who's a veteran of ultimate team you will start by the Spani team and Diego Costa does a really nice finish finesse finish with his left foot as well and he's a right footer player so it's not too bad I think this was the only goal of the game as well it's a pretty boring game in all fact and 1-0 was the final score and you can see them he did not finish records going up so that for me and as you saw in his team there the formation little card on his left to his boot was red that means he doesn't like the form the, he, it's not in his preferred po formation or it's not in a similar formation so with 4-4-2 it could be something like 3-4-2-1 something like I don't even know if that's a formation but it'd be something like that and that would not be a preferred formation as you can see some of my bronze players in this squad have got red but we're not worrying about the chemistry too much yet with the bronze players you want to be looking for goal players because with chemistry um, you get better flowing with the team and with, with chemistry to improve it you've been in the same league is great 
being on the same team will have an illuminated green bar which means they've got boss a really good boss a really good chemistry between them and that I mean if you flick through we're on the left analog stick or the right analog stick I don't know I forget which one it is you'll see that his chemistry will probably be nine that's the highest he can get and it's a good over the top ball here and Diego Costa easy finish and he's not going to miss those but I, I guess this commentary is about chemistry it's sort of form that but it's what I'm going to be giving tips on the start of the team then in the same league and the same in the same league and the same nationality will give a illuminated, illuminated green bar so that's again going to give about nine chemistry as long as he's got illuminated green bars all the way through another nice finish from Diego Costa now being in the same league will give like a like a dark green bar it means they've got chemistry between them but not the best chemistry there can be so hopefully guys you found this video helpful you also enjoy the road to glory and you actually see this team progresses we've started to get three plays in this video obviously in the next couple of episodes we're going to be a bit slowed down by having to buy bronze packs but i'll explain that in the next episode hopefully you enjoyed this video guys and always look forward to the third episode and i'll see you guys later